Alright, so good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to each and everyone. So my name again is Mr. Vicente Milon Kisai Jr. and I am your BS in English 2 uh, currently enrolled at uh, Norso Shatton Campus. So today, I am going or I am about to discuss about the artistic elements. So please stay tuned. And then uh, let me um, give you an advanced apology for if I am going to discuss this not that clear enough for you and then by the way i'm going to use other uh the mother tongue language and also the tagalog term because i am not really that good yet in english okay so again we are going to tackle about the artistic elements so part of the artistic elements is the color so when we say color there are lots of re representation of colors no but according to Bang, in 2000, color draw, draws the viewer in establishes the mood for the text. It is the strongest of any element that artists might, might use. Now, let us, put, let us all put in our mind that using a color, a brilliant color, always represents something or it always represents or reflects the reader and, and, and it is also uh, the... Um, the way for you to catch the attention of all your readers okay so according also to ban that shares a few expectations for color so white backgrounds feel safer than dark backgrounds which is very correct um one of, example of this even if in our room when we enter our room when it's white we we really can feel the good ambience in our room or in our surroundings and then, of course, uh, when we use as black, it always represents uh, the uh, sorrow or sadness of the, um, the author or the painter or even the artist. No? So, Ban in 2002 <clears throat> also knows uh, or, or also states that red is a color that excites the viewer. Uh, it is often associated with blood and fire. Blood yes because blood is red uh it is a representation and also love no we can also say that red is a red is a color representation of love uh actually in fire i really can't uh, relate because maybe yes in in my elementary days i can consider fire as a color red but in based on my learnings <clears throat> the color of the fire is light orange it, depend, it depends always upon the volume of the fire it is um white is also associated with light and snow as you can see in my uh, lightning so it's color white so it really uh it also represents purity and peace no uh black is also associated with darkness which is very correct darkness and sorrow it might be also as we can see or, or in our own understanding when we can see a color block it really represents uh sadness or sorrow yellow is associated with the sun and actually no sabi no ang pa uh kag yellow when you, you when you wear when you wear a color yellow shirt or short inun kanila nga mura kag tai which is that na anda nato eh we are used to it we we really use that kind of um sarcastic words or sentence when someone is using a yellow blue is associated with the sea and sky which is normal no because that's that's the reality viewers associate a simil similar color more strongly than similar shapes for example the viewer associate the wolf's eye and red riding hood's clock because they are red you know, the clock is the, the hood or the jacket that uh, Little Red Riding Hood uses. But, and then um, the wolf's eye is uh, also associates with uh, uh, the shape of the wolf's eye also represents uh, an angry or a bad wolf. No, because that's what the story or the story itself stated. <clears throat> When considering the emotional effects of a color, it is important to remember that there are culture as well as gender, age, geographic differences in how color is represented. Actually, 
we can relate this one when someone is uh, having a sorrow, no? They all, always wear black or white, black for sorrow that nag, nag, naghihinagpis pa sila sa sakit or they are suffering sorrows or sadness. And then some also uses, kung naiilubong na, is someone uses also a white color for purity and peace para maging malinaw or mas ma, uh, mas matiwasay ang pagpanaw ng isang tao no so just like this one no um the author Eric Runman in the My Friend Rabbit kung ikikritik ko to i can say that they the uh, the content of this book is really having a good ambience or a good uh, a good story which you can get a lesson no pero um as we we all know that the story really can, or any story can we can really get a a good um learnings uh, or lesson if i may say no as you can see in the picture uh the author uses a very bright colors uh, which is, as you can see, more of uh, um, uh, this rabbit is really playing because, as you can see, in in his in its background, it's color blue, which represents the sky, and then the toy that he he or it uses, no? Okay, so uh, another element of the artistic is texture. Texture when it comes to uh, uh, no, it represents the arts craft in making an image appear soft, hard, rough, or smooth. Um, when we say image appear, so the appearance of uh, I have here a book, no, as you can see, it's a enumerator's book. I'm so sorry if it's blurry. It's an enumerator's book which they use a very good um lightning colors uh color and that. This, the texture of this book is really soft, no? Because it implies or represents the the guide, or because this is a guide. So, if what's the uh, content of this book, it will always depend upon some of the colors or texture of a book. Okay. So just like this one, no? Anthony Brown in Willie really Dreamer in 1997 by Anthony Brown. I really don't know because I, I haven't yet read this book, but based on my um, critic or based on my understanding about this book, um, I think this book is having a soft texture because as you can see, no, gahigda-higda uh, lang, marag lamig ganin kinabuhi ani ni Willie. He really dreams so high. Okay, the next... Um, element of artistic is the perspective. Perspective is the way of illustrator's position in his or her work for the viewer. The character can be close to you or placed in the background of the illustration. This is the very most important. For me, uh, this is for me. All, uh, this is just for me. This is one of the important things that you have to remember in creating a book or anything or an art. Um, you can catch the attention of your listener, uh, no, your viewer or your reader if your book is having a very catchy um, image or some of the authors or the, the, the authors of a book uses really some of the content of the, or the summary of the story or the, the content of the story, just like this one, no? Uh, as you can see, uh, I'm so sorry for the blurry because uh, I'm just using a, okay, so there you go. As This is an enumerator's manual. So this is the thing that I am using right now, uh, which my work is related. Now, they, in here, they use as the pictures that this enumerator really do, or what does an enumerator really do? So, as you can see here, <clears throat> some of the uh, women here is really, I'm so sorry for the really, uh, for the dark background or the blurry background. But the, in your, this, this book by the PSA uh, uses some information or image that uh, 
kanang usa ka tawo nga makakita pa lang daan diri sa enumerators manual they can create a perspective na this book contains some information on how or what is an enumerator do when he is going to read this book okay next following are the few ways that artistic can use perspective bird's eyes view the viewer looks down as he if he or she was flying over the illustration no worm's eye view the viewer is looking up at the illustration see willie the dreamer no just like what as you can recall uh the foreground image appear in the bottom of the third illustrations for emphasis i'm sorry middle ground the image appears in the middle and illustration Background, the image appears in the top third of the illustration and appears in the distance. Chris and Van Leeuwen Leo, uh, in 1996 offered the two interesting ways to think about the way a character interacts. Just like this one, no? <clears throat> in Wabi Sabi, um, I think in my own perspective, the cat expression is um, amazed or uh, shocked that the author is looking at him or her no uh she was shocked with the author that watches him so this is the perspective of the author so uh, guys i thought i know that i haven't explain explain it better but then again i'm so uh um i am still hoping that you learn something uh, about the importance of the artistic elements uh, of a book okay so again the artistic elements if i miss uh, i'm sorry and then i would like to say that uh thank you so much once again for listening and giving me your time lending me your ears and minds while i am discussing by the way again guys this is mr vicente milantisa jr your bs ed english too goodbye